Fans TV. I am Sophie Rose. Don't forget, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. It's an amazing football app to get all the latest injury updates, football news, Premier League news, other league news, uh, all the latest on transfers. We fully support the app uh, and we hope that you do too. If you want to download and subscribe, please click the link in our description. Anyway, let's get on with today's video. Um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to do a video First of all, <laughs> I've got to say um, I was slightly wrong. I said I didn't imagine uh, Thomas Tuchel working out. Um, I didn't know too much about him, obviously, other than the fact that he'd he'd managed PSG in the past and had a sort of assertive manner about him. Um, but he was never linked with us in the past. Uh, it was only very much, you know, sort of towards the, the last few weeks before Frank was sacked that we actually got to hear a little bit about him. So um, I have to say I apologise. That was I was wrong to judge so quickly, uh, and apologies are always due uh, when you make when you make poor judgment. But um, I know it's early days, but I just wanted to come on here and do a video on five things that have impressed me so far. Five things that I believe Thomas has brought to Chelsea Football Club since he's arrived. Uh, because I think we can all agree performances have been great. Um, you know, three wins, two clean sheets. Uh, we'll, we'll touch briefly on the Rudiger incident there. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be harsh on Rudiger for that game. Uh, but if you actually look at what he did good in the game, um, it actually outweighs that. You're always going to have, you're going to have once in a blue moon, like that miscommunication between the keeper and the defender. Um, yes, it was his fault, but then he came back and made two amazing saves in the second half uh, that could have resulted in goals and cost us the three points. So I actually think all round, uh, he didn't do too bad of a job. Anyway, let's get into the, the actual video today. I just wanted to touch on that quickly. Uh, I'm going to do a preview tomorrow, but today uh, we're just going to focus on the five things that I believe that he's brought to Chelsea Football Club since his appointment. In number one then is his style of football. It's very high intensity, which I love. You can see whoever he puts on the pitch, he has told them quite clearly, quick passing, um, push the um, push forward, uh, pass into space. You know, we're, we're now, we're passing the ball into space. We're not looking to pass it back. Uh, we're getting ourselves into the box. We're making some amazing shots. Um, we're taking our chances, which is, is, is exactly what, you know, you, you, you expect your team to do, especially in the Premier League. Um, and I just, I love the way we're playing. I feel like we've all, the, the team have woken up. I feel like it was dull and boring and now it's gone to quick fire football, very fast paced. Um, I find the games more interesting. And that's not to say that Frank was doing a bad job before. Obviously, I think what he was trying to do was, you know, very long term. Um, but really, really happy with, with the way we're playing. And I've spoken to a lot of people and they actually, they, they feel the same. Very fast, fast paced, very quick, uh, enjoyable to watch. Uh, I finally feel like we're making some progress in that final third. And yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with, with what he's bringing so far. In number two then, it's gonna be Wilder's form. I feel like it's improved a little bit. Um, I feel like we've seen his first good performance against Sheffield United, uh, won us a penalty, uh, assisted a goal, great goal from Mason as usual. And I think that's contributing to our wins, to our three points. You know, I've always said, I don't necessarily think the, the striker on the pitch has to score every game, but he does have to contribute something in that final third. And that's the first time I've seen him actually contribute in a big way in a Premier League game. Uh, because no games are easy. No matter how hard Sheffield United are struggling, you know, they were still able to get a goal against us. They were always going to try and get us on the counter attack if they didn't have much possession. Um, and those last few minutes of the game really did scare me a little bit. But I do feel like Werner's performance has improved. Has improved. I think the manager desperately wants it to work out. I think he is giving him a lot of confidence. I think he'll, he'll know that Werner is low on confidence and that I do, I genuinely feel on every sort of Chelsea fan, God, it's snowing a lot outside, uh, every Chelsea fan I speak to says there's a goal in there somewhere. And I know it's in there because the difference between him and Morata or him and Torres or whatever, whether you think Torres obviously is a goal hero, thank you for the Barcelona goal, uh, is that he never really picked up any form. I do feel like within Werner, when he comes on the pitch, you can see in his eyes, he's always, always trying. He, he wants to do well for this club. And that's the difference between a lot of other players that have played for us and it hasn't worked out before. This one I know wants, wants things to work out and I do know, I desperately know there's a goal in there somewhere. Chelsea posted something on their Instagram of a, a header he scored in training. I don't know if you saw it and he um, put it into the top corner and it was a fantastic header. And I have no doubt that he can do that on the pitch uh, in a matter of no time. 
In at number three then, I'm gonna say he's brought a lot of passion with him. I didn't expect this so far. Um, he's probably the first manager that I've seen come into Chelsea, especially, you know, it's gonna be very hard coming in and winning fans over when we've just had a legend at the club sacked. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a bit of a, a touchy subject. Um, and I feel like he's come in and you can see on the sidelines, he's putting a lot of passion uh into the you know in, in installed into the team um he, he f i feel like he cares i feel like he wants to do well for this football club i know some managers have different styles and some of them like to just sit there and be very quiet i prefer a manager to be like this because i feel like i know that he cares and i know that he wants the best for the fans and for the club uh, and i do feel like a lot of that and a lot of the the passion he's injecting into the players is getting better performances out of them such as like such as werner um, and it makes me feel happy as a Chelsea fan to watch that, to know that the manager cares and he, you know, desperately wants us to regain form. Um, we're only a point away from top four now. It's fantastic news. And I don't think we could have said that a few weeks ago. We had a great win against Tottenham. Um, I love the fact that we came out there and dominated the game. Uh, that for me is the biggest game of the season. I, you know, I can get, I can get very nervous. It's a bit like penalties in the Champions League for me. Uh, not as not quite as bad, but very similar to that, where my heart is always racing for a Tottenham game, and I don't get that with many games. Um, so for him to come in and give us a win at White Hart Lane is um, is also fantastic. Hit number four, then he hasn't forgotten about our youngsters. Uh, I know he benched Mason for the first game in charge, but. He's put him back in the team. He's playing the likes of Callum Hudson-Odoi, who I think is essential to his style of play. Callum is a very attacking player. Uh, he's able to run down the wing. He contributes a lot in that final third, uh, and he gives a lot of energy and pace to the team. And I feel like that is 100%, you know, ties in with the high intensity type of football that, that he wants us to play. Um, you know, even in that first game against Wolves, I, I, I saw changes in the way we were playing. Uh, we always knew they were going to put 10 men behind the ball. You know, Wolves are struggling this season. They're a very good team, so you never know how it's going to turn out there. But I do feel like we we, we made the best of it. Uh, and although it wasn't the three points, there are major improvements. And I feel like his team selection, including keeping some of the youngsters in there, um, is essential. You know, you never know what managers are going to do. You never know if they're going to want to just play the big names. I feel like Mason has all the attributes to be the next Frank Lampard, to be the next John Terry, not only because of I think he's a, a skilled footballer, I think he cares a lot about the club, it's a club that he's been at since he was a kid and you can see he really wants to do well for this club, not necessarily, he doesn't seem like an egotistical player, uh, he just seems like he really wants to do well for Chelsea Football Club. Um, so I think he has that quality in him and I think I'm glad that we have a manager that sees that, that in him and hasn't just decided to bench him. Uh, throughout and it seems like he's willing to rotate those players which is fantastic news and last but not least then in number five I can't go without saying he's made all of us fans a lot happier uh, I think we were all feeling very down uh, after Frank left I think we were all feeling very down with the performances uh, I know we want these young players to do well I know we want our young signings to do well uh, and it, you know for some reason whatever it was it wasn't coming together and I feel like just in these last few games, he sort of uh, restored the faith, uh, made us feel like we can achieve things this season, make us feel like, although we've been very upset with the whole Frank appointment, he, you know, he's come in and he's, he's sort of, I wouldn't say brought the fans together because I think we've we've had that all season. Um, but I know we were all getting very frustrated with the results, uh, especially when we're sort of seeing the same thing over and over again. Uh, and losing games that we, you know, really shouldn't have. And I feel like every Chelsea fan I've spoken to, anyway, when I speak to all my mates, you know, obviously over WhatsApp, we can't meet at the moment, but whenever I speak to everybody, we're, we're proper happy with how we're playing. We love the fact that we've got young players included still. We, I know I think that was my worry anyway, that a new manager was just gonna come in and not see the talent that we already have in our own house. Uh, he's playing some really fast attacking football. We love that. Uh, we need that to keep up with the likes of Manchester City and Liverpool, even though Liverpool obviously got on a bit of a downward spiral. Uh, but you know, that's what we want to see. We want to see a change and a happy one as well. And everyone that I've spoken to so far doesn't have a bad words to say about this manager. So uh, fingers crossed for the FA Cup game, we can, we can continue on this really good run of form. And you know, I, I would love us to achieve top four this season and manage to get a trophy because I think we're more than capable. And I'm glad now that we have a manager that you know, I I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be a 
not a bad appointment, just I didn't think much was going to change this soon. Uh, and he's proved me wrong. So I'm very, very happy so far. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, please download the One Football app if you're interested. Uh, the link's in the description below and give this video a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed listening to me today. And comment below, what do you think he's brought to the team so far? I know there's a lot of things that I would have missed. Uh, and I want to know your, thought, your thoughts on Callum hudson Adoy as well, because I think he's playing great at the moment.